Hello guys, Colin here. Today we're going to talk about the new Cabin Impulse range from 3 Sigma Audio. For the sound samples you're about to hear, I tracked everything using this Ash Fossil build, going through the Bagheera 333 Infinium. I took a line out of the effects, send on the amp, and sent it straight into the Presonus interface, and at that point I applied the impulses to the recorded sounds. Here's what they sound like.
Three Sigma might be a new company, but the masterminds behind these impulses, Joe Quick and Chris Lucas, are known names and have worked on many large-scale audio projects in the music and film industry. You might remember I took a look at their old impulse line under the name of Rosen a little while ago. These new Three Sigma impulses are exceptionally impressive. They sound just like you've hooked up to a really good guitar cab. They're very detailed and clear and there's a lot of variation for finding different sounds that'll work well with your recordings. Now I'm no audio engineer or music producer, I'm just a guitarist who likes to play and record his own music from time to time, and these impulses give really good results for that. They sound much better than a lot of the inbuilt cab emulation stuff you'll find in amps and in amp simulation software, so it's very much worthwhile grabbing a couple of these and using them as part of your home recording. Within each cabinet model, there are many impulses to choose from, being represented by different microphones and microphone placements in front of the cab. Each impulse also has a version A and a version B. The version A has a much stronger low-end response, while version B is a flatter response overall, which would allow pretty much anyone to find a cabinet that's going to fit in their mix. Now, while I used my physical amp to generate the sounds I used alongside these impulses, you can quite as easily apply these impulses to your favourite amp sim software. Or, if you're using Kemper or an Axe FX rig, then you can load the impulses into them and get the sounds that way. As always, links to where you can find these impulses will be in the description box, show more section underneath this video. If you're into recording, then these are a wonderful addition to your arsenal of tools, especially if you're in a situation where getting an amp loud enough to record with microphones isn't at all practical. If you like this video and you want to see more gear reviews and other content from me, then you can hit that subscribe button up there and you'll be left of it all when it comes out. I'm also available on all the social media and you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of these impulses and tell me about your recording techniques. Anyway, that's all for just now. So if you guys want to keep it loud, I'll see you later.